Castle and I went to Denny Hastert in his office, just off the chamber, that office. And uh, he came out and talked to us, sat down at the table, listened to us. And you know, I gave, and then he looked at me and said, okay, Dr. Schwartz, explain to the speaker why, uh, why this should be. And I told him, you know, this is research that, that has to be done if we want in the United States to continue to be on the cutting edge of, of biologic research, right. of genetic research, right. of the ability to, to you know, find biologic treatments for certain diseases. Right. He sat there and listened very patiently and everything. And what we were asking for was a vote. He thought for about 20 seconds, kind of looked away and looked back and said, you get your vote. And Very we brought it to the floor, vote, got the vote, it passed. Wow. Sent it to the Senate, it passed. Bush vetoed it, and we did not have enough of a majority to override the veto. Oh, me darn. Wow. And as you know, subsequently, uh, Barack Obama did it by executive order. Right. right. Uh, but that was, that was my... my really most closest exposure to Hastert sure. while I was there, and I thought the world of him. And that would have been the, almost the zenith of your legislative accomplishments if only your Republican president had signed the bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That was his very first veto. Wow. And, and you ask yourself, I mean, a, a logical person, I believe, a rational person, mm -hmm. would ask yourself, why in hell would you veto that bill? And it, it was, a, was a, a, a perfect example of the, of the influence, the far right, uh, the right to life of this world. It had nothing to do with right to life. People didn't even understand the research and what it was done. You know, and, 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 and the problem was that, that uh, okay, uh, these, these eggs are donated and you can, you can get embryonic stem cells from, from the eggs. Uh, well, if you don't get embryonic stem cells from them and they're not used, uh, I mean, these are going to be used. They're going to be fertilized. Bananas. They're going to be tossed in the garbage. Mm -hmm. So it was, I mean, if, if, if I ever was dealing with an issue where I, I was, I was uh, on the side of the gods, it was with the embryonic stem cell issue. And Denny Hastert made the right decision. And I, I irrespective of what's happened to him, which is terrible, yeah. uh, I would always thank him for that. Uh, one last question, um, unless you want to bring up something else that maybe we've missed, and that is, how do you look from what you read and see and hear in the media at the function of Congress today compared to back in 2005, 2006? That's only 10, 12 years ago. Uh, do you think things have deteriorated or is it pretty much business as usual? It's the same situation. What do you think? I think things have deteriorated. Uh, things have become far too partisan. Uh, the money calls the shots. It did when I was there too, but not to the degree it does now. You think the Citizens United decision was probably a big it's factor? It's a hor horrible decision. Mm -hmm. uh, the gerrymandered congressional districts, all we have to do is look at Southeast Michigan. I mean, I tell my students at U of M, look at the 14th district. That's, that Elbridge, Elbridge Gary would jump out of his grave and do a dance <laughs> looking, <laughs> looking, looking at that district. Well, so, but the, the original district you were elected in, uh, the 7th, was pretty much gerrymandered back in 2001. Yeah, that was a good well, it, Republican it, gerrymander. It, 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 well, it was, a, it was a Republican district, but it was... You don't think... I don't think the 7th was particularly gerrymandered. You think they, the Republicans did a much better job of gerrymandering in 2011 than they did in Oh, yeah, much, much better. And I think it's pretty hard to gerrymander when you get out state because it's not, the population is not dense enough. It's a little hard. It's pretty darn easy to gerrymander in southeast Michigan or in, 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 in New York State as you get down toward the city. Uh, California, of course, is not gerrymandered anymore because of the... the uh, Bipartisan Reapportionment Commission out there, right. which was which was championed by not, none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, but and and I think we should have a bipartisan reapportionment commission in Michigan. So you have you have the money, uh, you have the gerrymandering, and in Michigan you have the thing that's as bad or worse than those two, and that's term limits, and uh, it doesn't make for for a good legislative body. 
we elect good people to the legislature bill. And I would never say that we elect bad people to the legislature. We don't. We elect good people to the legislature. But government is complex. In a populist state, government is even more complex. And it takes a little time to learn the twists and turns. And six years in the House is not enough. There are a few people in the Senate who have done six in the House and are in their second four-year term in the Senate. Senate who can probably tell you where the bodies are buried. They are very few and far between. Uh, so the term limits is the, I, I believe it's, it's, it, it's the, the, the worst thing that the voters of this, of this good state have inflicted upon themselves ever. Well, uh, one thing is the federal courts did throw out the congressional portion of term limits. Thornton versus Arkansas, yes. they did. And let me ask you this, if, if uh, you were still in the state Senate, you were not limited by term limits, and an opening for a congressional seat came up, and it wasn't in the middle of your term, you had to make a choice on whether you ran for the Senate again, and you could, or you had a chance to run for Congress and go to Washington, which would you choose? I, I don't know. Given the, given the circumstances, I might run for Congress, depending on look at the, uh, so some, I have, these are issues I feel strongly about, I'm running for Congress. Or maybe not, I don't feel that strongly about it, I can do more good here in, in the Senate, so you, you, you just don't okay. know. You've done a great job in this interview. Oh, th thank you Thanks, very Bill, much. Thanks, Bill, very much. It's Good been to be my here. pleasure. Good to be here. Great. Thank you.